How's it going you guys? So I've been doing a ketogenic diet for the last almost five months now. And during this time, uh, from the beginning, the very beginning, I was doing powerlifting um, about six times, six days a week. And then within the last two months, I started back doing full-time MMA training. There's a lot of people who seem to think you can't gain strength or gain muscle or do intense cardiovascular exercise on a ketogenic diet. A lot of people for some reason think it's impossible to do jujitsu rounds or uh, kickboxing, especially at a high level, on a ketogenic diet. Well, I can tell you right now, as long as you're doing it properly and you're taking it into account how much calories you're burning versus how many calories you're consuming, and making sure you're getting enough protein to sustain um, high athletic performance that it is completely sustainable and in fact beneficial to your performance as well as your health and your recovery. Now when I first started the ketogenic diet I was actually gaining strength on all of my lifts for the very first two months. Okay. Um, I put about 30 pounds on my bench within two months, which is incredible. Um, and I put probably about uh, 20 pounds on my deadlift and then my squat. I was actually recovering from a hip injury and I noticed within four days of the ketogenic diet, which actually was a carnivore diet for the first month and then I went to a regular ketogenic diet, uh, my hip injury completely healed and I was able to get back to heavy weightlifting fast, even though the doctor at the hospital told me it would take me about three months before I could start doing heavy weightlifting again. And so, um, I stopped squatting for like four, like for like the first two or three months. So yeah, that, that lift definitely didn't go up. But anyway, my power clean went up, my snatch went up, and it was pretty incredible. My one rep uh, max on clean and jerk actually went uh, went up to being able to do it for sets of five, which was pretty incredible. Anyway, um, the fact that I was gaining strength in all my lifts, and at the time I was only sleeping like four hours because I just felt so incredible. I didn't feel like I needed any more sleep than that. And I was gaining strength doing this. I mean, that just, goes to show you that you really don't need carbohydrates for strength or performance. Now, um, fast forward, uh, it was December, so fast forward to about March, around March, it was around February actually, I started full-time MMA. So about three months into the ketogenic diet, I started full-time MMA. Um, and at first, you know, it was great because I was actually doing intermittent fasting on top of that. And I was uh, fasting for about 18 hours or more every single day. And then just eating a shit ton of meat and uh, drinking bulletproof coffee as well before workouts, which, which definitely helped. And I guess it's not a, a real fast at that point. But some days I would just do a straight fast and I would drink um, matcha green tea instead. Anyway. I was able to sustain this to an extent, but I did notice at first uh, I had pretty bad muscle cramps after my third session. So after my third session, while doing intermittent fasting on a ketogenic diet, I had extreme muscle cramps after my third workout of the day. I mean, really, even, even for a regular person eating a regular carbohydrate-rich diet, they're going to experience these cramps without consuming enough sodium. So, yeah. Now I did notice my uh, energy levels started to go down and my endurance start, seemed to start going down um, after the first week of doing this. And at first I thought, oh, well, I guess everyone was right. I needed carbohydrates. But the problem here is I wasn't doing, I wasn't uh, reading, I wasn't taking action on all the things that I was supposed to. So. For example, um, sodium and electrolytes. I, for some reason, just thought, oh, fuck that. I, I don't need extra so salt, you know? Um, so I was just kind of wing winging it, right? What I realized eventually is that, um, so I could do, I was doing powerlifting just fine for months, 
And I was doing max, max effort training and everything, hitting PRs every single workout. And then I started doing long distance bicycle running and hardcore um, kickboxing, Muay Thai, and Jiu Jitsu where I'm sweating a lot, right? I realized, well, damn, obviously I'm sweating a lot. What do you lose in your sweat when you're doing this hard training? Sodium, potassium, electrolytes? So um, I asked some of my friends who do like ultra marathoning and uh, their doctors and whatnot, and they're doing a ketogenic diet. And they said they don't do carb ups, they said I need salt. Because after my workouts, man, after my first workout of the day, I felt just like so tired. My heart start, started to kind of like, it seemed like it was having palpitations and um, you know, I was having some problems. All of these problems were very common symptoms of salt deficiency, essentially. And uh, at the time I had, I had, um, a student I was coaching and he was running into some of the same problems I told him hey you probably need to have about five grams of salt a day so that means probably about a table a tablespoon over the course of the entire day and he said like holy crap like I feel so much better right so I started to supplement with salt and when I say supplement I mean I, I took about a teaspoon um, a teaspoon like every four hours or so right so I was consuming about two grams of sodium in the morning two grams at lunchtime and then two grams like later on uh, before bed you know and I noticed immediately my energy levels went back up my my creativity came back my productivity came back and I no longer felt um, like tired or lethargic my, I didn't cramp anymore, obviously. I mean, cramps are an obvious sign of sodium deficiency. Um, and so, boom. So, yeah, like the thing is at the very beginning of the, of the carnivore diet, the keto diet, I was actually supplementing with salt every morning. And then I just stopped because, I don't know, I felt like I didn't need it for some reason. And then my performance went down. So moral of the story is, you can definitely do MMA um, on a keto or carnivore diet. You don't need carbs for that. You don't need carbs for powerlifting. Um, in fact, there's a, a carnivore YouTuber named Primal Bro who reversed type 2 diabetes and uh, lost like hundreds of pounds. And he's, uh, he's doing uh, jiu-jitsu tournaments now too. And this guy, um, he does vlogs. So you can check him out. But he makes sure he has electrolytes. So he has like an electrolyte drink he drinks, I think, before and after his workouts. And, and he knows as long as he, and he does one meal a day as well. And he knows as long as he supplements with electrolytes, his performance does not go down. Also, I purchased and read twice the book, um, The Art and Science of Low Carbohydrate Performance by Dr., uh, I think it's Joseph Finney and Steve Volok. And they're both PhD researchers who talk about how you should be, how, you know, they've conducted hundreds of papers on the fact that your exercise performance goes up on ketogenic diets. And so anyway, um, yeah, no problems. Now I will tell you guys, you should not be scared of protein if you are an athlete, okay? If you're doing a ketogenic diet and you are not getting at the very minimum one gram per pound of body weight and if you're overweight one gram per pound of lean mass I say more like 1.2 grams per pound of lean mass uh, you will run into problems too you must get enough protein and then make and then I uh, have a Fitbit where I track my calories every day and I noticed I was burning about 4,300 calories on on one of my good training days and I usually don't keep my Fitbit on during jujitsu and sometimes during kickboxing. So I'm probably burning even more. So I just make sure I, I get as close to that amount or more as possible. So in order to get enough calories, you must consume a lot of fat. And so Bulletproof Coffee is a great way to do that. Um, I notice two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of coconut oil with a scoop of protein powder. Um, two to three times a day, and then on top of that, eating lots of cheese, eggs, uh, and fatty meats, and you are set. So anyway, uh, leave your questions and comments down below. It is possible to perform well on a ketogenic diet, and I'll talk to you on the next video.